All right, so I got this uh, VFD off of Amazon, and uh, it's one of the cheaper ones from China. I mean, they're all from China, but this one runs off of 110. So this is just 110 here. Um, go into an extension cord that goes into a GFCI outlet. Um, some people said it didn't work with GFCI, but works fine for, with mine. Uh, perhaps their outlet was wired wrong. Um, so right now it's off. Uh, this is a 2x48 grinder build off of YouTube. Um, the top part is with a 2 horsepower. You can pause it here and get the specs. 2 horsepower, US made motor. Uh, this is a 3 phase uh, dual voltage. So it's wired up for the lower voltage, the 220. This was pretty much plug and play. I didn't really have to change any of the settings. Um, I did go through them just to make sure that the defaults were what they said in the manual. Um, it's sharing a ground right now, so I have the ground uh, for the 220 and the ground uh, that goes up to the motor right here is the same. And um, I didn't have any SJOW uh, wire, so for now I'll just have some old uh, um, pump wire that goes to like a well pump. And I'll let me show you working here. So I hit run. Okay. And then now it's in this H mode. And you need to turn this knob, this potentiometer here is already set up to change the frequency. And this thing is spinning. And right now it's set to. Yeah, so so far works really well. Um, yeah, if you decide to start it back up, it's going to start at whatever frequency you set here. So you can start it at zero or have it start at a certain speed that you like. Uh, forward and reverse is built in, so you could reverse it. And uh, I haven't tried this yet. Start it this way. The tracking is a little different going backwards, but. Uh, Got their forward reverse indicator up here. Um, yeah, so far, I mean, it was pretty uh, plug and play. Didn't have to mess with it much. You do have to take this little cover off right here. Um, this little cover, you take this off so that you can get the screws down in here for these mounts. Um, uh, they're just like kind of the old wire terminals, like off an amplifier. Nothing fancy. Um, yeah, and then you're going to put this back on. You don't need to use any of these unless you're wiring up like a remote, either a remote sensor or a, a even more remote version of the controller. It's already set up to use this. This does come out. And uh, they don't give you a very long cord. Like, this is as far as it goes. On some models that are a little bit more expensive that look nearly identical, uh, or a little bit bigger, but they have identical looking keypad. Um, it comes with like a six foot extension or something like a three foot. So you could mount this somewhere else and then um, uh, have the controller like in a 3D printed box or something like that. This would fit in a... I'll do the measurements real quick for you. This would fit in a uh, ammo can if you want to use that for a controller. So... On the front, it's about four and four and five eighths or something. But what I measured is five in the back because it is a little tapered. It's like a, there's a draft angle to it. Okay, by seven, seven and a sixteenth this way. And the height, depending on where you want to measure it to, is just about five. And then with a the potentiometer knob, knock it up to five and a half. So that's the kind of enclosure size you're going to need for this. I think it was listed wrong in the description. There's only one fan. There's only one cooling fan on here. And the back side is just a heat sink. Uh, so you take the fan out. You take two screws on each side out. And you can get to the main board if you need to. And then there's another um, screw or something that holds in this little mini board right here. Uh, I, made, I made this stand um, so that this thing... Is gonna like fit inside here 
and uh, with screws in the back to hold it on. So these mounting screws, you can only fit little tiny ones in here, but uh, that's, that's what you got to work with. And this is just plastic, but it seems like decent plastic. All right, that's all. Enjoy.